Welcome to Thailand's gastronomy city, Khon Gan. Located in Isan or northeastern region of Thailand, Khon Gan is filled with unique culture and cuisine. Breathtaking attractions and legendary restaurants are waiting to be explored. Let's get to know an organic farm and restaurant which serve family recipes of various foods. m i k i n Farm. Wow, it looks amazing. Personally, I love this kind of food, healthy food. These all look very healthy. Uh -huh. What are they? First of all, that one is steam fish, the native local vegetables, ah. and the curry paste, the green one, organic salad with fish sausage in s a t i n style. Wow! Yeah, this one in Thai is called the Gai Tai Nam. Okay. You know, chicken under water. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Because the cooking process, we have ice water on yes. top under with like the marinade, free r a n g e chicken, okay. and then steam it for cooking. That is the rice noodle with. Curry paste as well. Kanom <coughs> And it's the Thai style vegetable spicy salad, yeah. yam dok ke. Okay. Dok ke, yeah. we also found in your farm. Yes, we grow here. And that one, it's a Thai style omelet, yes. which is very popular here as well. t h e y just cooked with your recipe. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Duck eggs and also chicken eggs together. Yeah. Uh, just a tiny bit of uh, you know lamb juice lamb and juice. Yeah, fish sauce. That's all. This shop owner, Mr. Leng, left Bangkok's Chinatown for k o n g a n in 1984. He brought here a secret recipe for Yan Da Pho or Ping Noodle Soup. Okay, we're having Ping Noodles today. This is a famous place, like local place that we have this kind of noodles in k o n g a n Yan Da Pho, that's what we call in Thai. But in English, Ping Noodles, the Ping sauce comes from fermented red bean curd mixed with like tomato, and this is the special kind of noodle that is popular in Thailand. In k o n g a n you come here a lot. Yeah, because here is I would say one of the most famous yen t a f o noodles here in mm. towns. Yeah. And once you start tasting them, you will get to know more why it's famous. And, and they have this fried taro mixed with a variety of fish balls. Just across the street from l i n g and Afo is another popular street food place, famous for its grilled pork neck. k o m o y a n g is like grilled pig's neck, okay, and it's popular for Thai people, especially for street food. And we usually eat this with the sauce, which is made from uh, roasted rice, roasted chili, tamarind sauce, and uh, water and fish sauce. Okay. Right here in Thai, we call n a m t o k Waterfall. Yeah, waterfall one. <laughs> so you can see it's from the water that yeah. So that's mix it with the dry chili and also roasted rice, fish sauce, and also this one slightly similar but it's in dry version and very special with pork or pig skin. And you know, one thing that you cannot forget is sticky rice. Yeah. We make everything much better. Okay. Um, In this region of Thailand, we've got influence a little bit from like Vietnam. Okay, so we'll find a lot of Vietnamese mixed with Thai style kind of food on streets, especially in k o n g a n Like what we're having now is the Vietnamese noodles um, yeah. soup. Yeah. Actually, not really real Vietnamese one, but it's already. They use like rice flour noodles, Vietnamese mixed with Thai style, and yeah. they use pork ribs. 
Okay. And this one is the glass noodle oh. soup, and it's very special. Because the the broth is from chicken leg and chicken blood. Yeah. This one is nice. It's porridge, chicken yeah. porridge, Isan style. This is what is special in Isan. It's pork sausage, Isan or northeastern Thai style. Okay. We usually eat these dishes with with this as side dish. Kongan has plenty of great options for accommodation. If you plan to stay in the city, many hotels are within a walking distance to popular restaurants and street food. This morning, I'll meet my Japanese friend for breakfast. Hi, good morning. Hey, you know what? I just uh, walked from my hotel, the Garcia. It's very near. Mm. Okay, it's a good exercise in the morning. Okay, I've heard this is a famous place for breakfast. Ban Heng started in 1957 as a souvenir and grocery shop that sold products like homemade Chinese sausage, pork floss, and pork jerky. Now the restaurant serves Thai, Chinese, Vietnamese food in a wood-themed design. We're having congee in the morning. I think that's a special because I've seen this century egg like with pork, with spring onion, fried garlic, and ginger. Into other the chow mein as well. Chow mein. Actually, is the Chinese. Oh, that sounds like what I've had in Hong Kong. Yeah, should be something similar to that. Yeah, yeah. How about this bread? And this one is very signature. The shredded pork. Yeah, they're all ingredients, especially from Banting products. Ah. And this very unique one they call Banting bread. Yeah, fried sausage. Yes, and also the pork sausage as well. Ah, mu yao. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have Thai tea as well. Yeah. Morning. Do you like Thai tea? Yeah, I love it. Okay. Sweet and yeah. I got my own orange juice, which is um, they like to sell. This is their also a famous product. So I just try it. It's actually nice and fresh. Yeah. So I bring it to myself in the morning. Ah. Okay. Located near Kangan Airport, Prapai has served authentic Isan dishes for more than two decades. Okay, we've got seven dishes today, signature dishes here, uh, starting from this deep fried pickle fish. The, the taste will be a little sour. And next, fried chicken with oily roasted chili paste. The oily chili paste is the one that we use in tom yam. In Thai, we call them pig pao, but they mix it here with the fried chicken. And next, mok la pla tong is grilled fish cake. Normally, uh, hong mok. Next is a local soup, gang lao hit ho. Okay, they use bayana, which is a local like vegetables with local mushroom and pumpkin, and they've got lady's finger, the green type as well. Next, gang kua. We mix red chili paste and coconut milk. I think we roast the chili paste uh, with all the ingredients like vegetables. And next, pat pak wan pa, or stir fried local vegetables, which is called pak wan. Okay, I think that one grilled red ants egg cake. Mok kai mot dan. How do you try the red ants cake? Probably the first time for me as well. I never, I never saw it before. Yeah, and they've got lab as well. Lab is like a Thai spicy salad, right? Mm -hmm. But they use pla kang, which is a local fish found mm -hmm. in Kong River. Instead of pork or chicken, they use like local fish. This is quite special. I think I've heard that the chef, Chef Pai San, used to be a chef for five star hotel before, but now he moved back to his hometown to develop like a Thai contemporary food scene in Khon Khan. Especially here, like one of the few fine dining restaurants you can find here in the province. Uh, it will be a cost of seven. 
yeah, of Thai contemporary food. Gan in Thai has several meanings. The cuisine is contemporary Thai at its core, or Gan, yet also playful, or Gan Gao. I was impressed as they used local ingredients from many locations in northeastern Thailand to create these creative dishes, as well as using different cooking techniques. Apart from the design chef's table menu, I would like to recommend Musaman curry with lamb shank. It's so good! Plus, I love the dessert today, which is daifuku of mulberry jam with sesame dust on top. Nowadays, there are plenty of chick cafes run by Kankan's young generation. Let me show you a few of them. I'm at a cozy place in downtown Kankan. This is an old house renovated into a cafe. It's called Neighbor Cafe. And I've just ordered this uh, signature drink called a Rocky Roast Granita, which is chipped ice made from espresso, and they use milk. Um, I think it's a good combination. Mm. Hope you enjoyed gastronomy journey in Kangan with me. There's still a lot more to explore in Isan region. Please stay tuned for more updates from amazing Thailand.